Welcome to another mentoring moment with Dr. Mo. I'm Dr. Mo, and in this mentoring moment, we will elevate and enhance your tapping practice by taking a deep dive into kinesthetic aspects. I recently did a video on kinesthetic aspects and somatic sensations, which I have linked in the upper part of the screen if you're interested in. But because kinesthetic aspects can potentially be an obscure and somewhat perplexing topic within the EFT world, I decided to devote another video to talking about kinesthetic aspects. So let's dive right in. To recap, kinesthetic aspects usually come from some external acting force or forces that act onto the body, which physically affect the body at the time of an event or an experience. But when that physical feeling from this external acting force can still be felt in the present moment, almost like a phantom sensation, that is what EFT classifies as a kinesthetic aspect. You can classify anything external that physically interacts with the physical body and creates a physical feeling as being a potential kinesthetic aspect. And external acting force or forces sounds like kind of an intense, crazy term, but they can exist on a spectrum. And so there's no better way to learn than through examples, so let's do a few together. The feeling of the skateboard hitting my ankle. So in this example, the skateboard is acting as that external acting force onto the ankle itself, which creates that feeling uh, on the ankle. The feeling of the sharpness of the blade on my finger. So in this example, the external acting force is the blade itself, and it acts on the finger, creating this feeling of sharpness. The feeling of the wetness of the rain on my ears. In this example, the external acting force is the rain, and the feeling it creates is that sensation of wetness on the ears. And last example, the feeling of the cold tile on my feet. The external acting force in this example is the tile itself, and it creates that feeling of cold on the feet. So as you can see from these examples, kinesthetic aspects can be any lingering physical feelings that were originally generated from external acting forces. And these physical feelings can include temperature changes, pressure, pain, sensations of wetness or dryness, friction. Kinesthetic aspects describe anything outside the body that creates a physical or physically felt sensation uh, on the human body or on the skin, which can still be felt in the present moment. But what about the obscure sensation of falling or speeding up or changing direction or acceleration changes? Would those be considered kinesthetic aspects? And the answer is yes. So you can classify the feelings of falling, the feeling of slowing down, speeding up, accelerating, spinning or changing direction, sliding, dropping down, or being lifted up as all being kinesthetic aspects. But you might be asking yourself, well, what would be the external acting force that creates these sensations? I thought that that was a major defining factor of kinesthetic aspects, and you are completely correct. And to answer this question, we have to go back to high school physics class. So you can think of the external acting forces in all of these examples as being gravity or the acting force of the air around um, you, which then acts on your body and creates a physical feeling of falling or speeding up or spinning, etc., and that physical feeling is, of course, a kinesthetic aspect. So to be honest, I had no idea that kinesthetic aspects would explain the feeling of falling, um, nor could I even imagine that the body would remember that. But I experienced this concept of kinesthetic aspects firsthand in doing my own personal work. And so when I was young, I fell off a balance beam and I hit my tailbone on um, a balance beam. And all of this occurred during gymnastics class. But when processing this memory, I encountered two kinesthetic aspects. And it was my first encounter with kinesthetic aspects that, had, that allowed me to see them in a different light and truly understand them. So I'd like to 
give you a, a peep into what I I experienced and so that maybe it can enhance your understanding of kinesthetic aspects and how they could show up in client sessions. So for me, what I encountered um, as being two kinesthetic aspects was firstly, you know, a classic example of a kinesthetic aspect, the sensation of me hitting the beam, where the beam was acting as the external force on my body. And when I tuned into that sensation in the present moment, what came up for me was a pressure sensation um, that I felt um, at the level of my tailbone. And so that was a kinesthetic aspect because it was embodying that external acting force of the beam hitting my tailbone. And another kinesthetic that kinesthetic aspect that I encountered was the feeling of falling off the beam or falling down. And while tapping on this, I literally felt a sensation of falling almost to the point where I felt like I was going to fall off my chair. And so in this example, the external acting force was gravity, which acted on my body in the past, but I could still feel that sensation of gravity pulling me down in the present moment. And that is what a kinesthetic aspect is all about. And so I hope that this little confession corner of my own personal work has helped you grasp this concept of kinesthetic aspects. And kinesthetic aspects are quite interesting and I encourage you to get curious about them as they come up in your personal practice and with client sessions. So I hope that this has been helpful to you. Thank you for listening to this Mentoring Moment with Dr. Mo. I'm Dr. Mo and we will talk and tap soon.